I don't know what's your emergency. Hey, I'm the uh, manager at Jock Cranley Motorcycles at uh, 8175. Okay, sir. So we had somebody, uh, I was in my office just a few minutes ago, and somebody threw a, uh, threw a rock through the door and broke the door. Uh, we're still under renovations right now, so we didn't have security glass on. And then somebody came in uh, to the store, pointed a gun around, and I could see him uh, from my office, because my office is on the second floor. Uh, he saw that nobody was in here, and he ran, and he stole a, uh, a costume that we have on display for Jock Cranley. Did you get a description of the person? Uh, I'm, I did see him a little bit. Uh, I'm trying to work on getting the security footage now. Uh, but he was, looked like a white dude, had, uh, black hair. It was, like, really long on top, but it was really, really short on the sides, like you could see his head. Uh, I don't know what you would call that, like a pompadour. Uh, he was wearing a blue and white shirt and some jeans. And he was wearing, like, um, I want to say, like, a Hollywood mask. Where, where, like, it was like it had a plastic covering. I couldn't see his face at all. Did you say what uh, type of shirt he had? Yes, yeah, sir. He had a blue and white striped shirt. Uh, it was striped horizontally. Do you have a description of the vehicle that was stolen? I didn't see his car, no. I'm still trying to get the, uh, the security footage up here so that way I can, uh, you know, get something. But I didn't see his car. I just saw him. Or I was working on something, and then I heard the window break, and I heard the alarm go off. And then uh, when I looked, uh, he was breaking in. And that's when he ran in and took the costume and left. And it looked like he had a gun in his hand. All right, sir. We'll get units to you as quickly as possible. Thank you. I'm really excited to be doing this patrol today because we get to use the new interior. Uh, this is the new Sanders Motorcycles interior that was just put in the server, I think, yesterday, if not the day before. Uh, obviously it has the Jock, Jock Cranley statue that looks like Evil Knievel that I'm going to be using for my patrol tonight. But there's also a sitting area, there's a lot of displays, stuff like that. It, it's a very good addition to the server, I, I feel. I really like new interiors. Hello sir, how you doing today? Uh, hello. That was the one who called, how you doing? I'm good. How about yourself? I'm doing fine. My name's Keith. I'm the manager here. All right. My name is Officer James. So uh, basically what had happened, and I'll show you over here. Uh, you can see all the glass on the ground, I guess, from here. Uh, what this yeah, person I did, and I'm still working on uh, getting the footage from you because we're still under renovation. We're not open yet. And so we don't have security glass installed. And so what this guy did was he pulled up here. And by the way, my office is uh, right up there. Uh, so I was sitting behind gotcha. my desk, I was doing some work, and I hear a glass break and I hear the alarm go off, and, and I, um, and I come over here, or I look over here, I'm sorry, and I see, um, see this guy running in, and he has a gun in his hand, right? Very little, little gun, and he's, like, pointing it like this, I guess, looking for somebody. You are right. And then, like, as soon as, like, he, I guess he didn't see anybody was here, uh, he ran all the way over to the, uh, we replaced it. But he ran all the way over here to the uh, statue we have of Jock Cranley. I'm sorry, Jock Cranley. And took the costume right off of the rack and then put it in his bag and left. And obviously I replaced it just so you guys know what to, you know, look at. Uh, yeah, yeah. But this isn't, obviously this isn't a real costume. Uh, we actually sponsor Jock Cranley inside of the uh, Redwood Games. Which is why there's a display here because uh, really corporate just wanted something to kind of show off Jock Cranley because he's... Uh, you would say an influencer uh, when it comes to motorcycles. Uh, but anyway, uh, this obviously isn't the real costume, but uh, he did take it right off the mannequin, and then he uh, put it in his bag, and then he ran away. Same color and everything? Yes, sir. It looks just okay, like that. Okay. Uh, do you know what vehicle was he driving? I didn't see it, no. Um, okay. He, he uh, parked over there. Uh threw something. I guess it was a rock at the uh, at the window. Gotcha. So was it just him, or did he have like a getaway driver or something like that? I just saw one dude. One dude. Okay. Yeah, I I just saw one dude, and I I didn't hear anybody speaking. So. Right. Okay. Do you have Do you happen to have a description of? Of the of the dude. Yeah. Yeah, he was wearing like some kind of hollywood mask i said it kind of looked like a jason style mask you know uh like a horror film mask kind of thing yeah kind of i could see sure, his sure, face right. um but i was able to see his hair and he has very long hair on the top 
but he has a uh, very short hair on the sides. Gotcha. All right. Um, I like, believe we call that a mullet. Is that what you're saying? A mullet or a pompadour? <laughs> okay, I, 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 was, I was talking. I was talking with the guy over the phone. I'm like, I have no <laughs> idea what the hell to call it. And he didn't know either. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm... So, uh, did but... he take? Uh, did he take anything else besides this? No, I just took the costume, man. Uh, man, that's strange. All right. So just the costume is missing. Okay. Yeah, just the costume. And honestly, like, I I was kind of think I was thinking about it because we have uh, two laptops right there that we use for customer support. Right. And we, I was just like, I thought he was going for the laptops, and then he ran, went for the uh, the Jock Cranley costume, and I said, you know, what the hell? Right. Uh, how much of the footage do you have? Uh, if you want to actually uh, take a seat over there on that couch, I'll, I'm working with my uh, corporate manager right now to get that footage out to you, and then I can send it straight to your uh, Discord email. Yeah, all right. I'll just go ahead and sit over there, and you can give me the footage. I mean, I, I still can't believe, um, r really, I'm very confused. Uh, I've, I've been broken in, or I'm sorry, uh, one of my stores have been broken into before. However, this is very strange regarding the costume. Um, I don't, it seems very specific. I don't really know if it would help you any, but my guess would be that it would be like a big fan of uh, either motorcycles or Jock Cranley. Because, you know, who else would steal a, you know, a costume? Right. That's a good point. Yeah, it could be like a fanboy situation, like an impersonator, copycat kind of thing. I don't know. Uh, I told... Basically, uh, whenever they install these security doors and windows, they don't put the security film on it. Uh, the film is what keeps the glass together whenever it breaks. And I was like, hey, when are we getting this film in? And because of uh, of COVID, uh, you know, it, it... A lot of delays are happening and, you know, stuff like that, especially regarding sure. stuff in the commercial sector. So we got the security footage up because uh, they did that when this place was refurbished. But the uh, the actual security film, they haven't installed it yet. And now I made a call to uh, my corporate manager and I have a feeling that there's a overnight order on the way for, for the security film. <laughs> right. So from the film that I just seen, it was him. He pulled up in a SUV and he had a duffel bag and he seemed like he was wearing like a, a yellow shirt type but he came in through that door over there and I'm guessing through some smoke or he threw something so. yeah he threw a rock and broke the glass you can see the glass on the floor yeah so it's a, so that was a one person job so yeah I, I knew I did I only saw one guy I didn't you know right right so we're looking for like a gray SUV. Uh, I can't think of the model right now. Did you see the license plate? No, I didn't see no license. I just, yeah, the car was like too far from me to the license plate. Yeah, the car was like too far from me to the license plate. Yeah, I mean, we can put out a be on lookout alert for. At least yeah, something and I get can, it started. Yeah, I can also send you the footage so you can see what vehicle we're looking for. For sure. Uh, what is your call sign? Uh, Paul 84. Is there anything else you needed for me, gentlemen? Not that I need, no. No, no. We'll be on the lookout for him, and we'll come back and let you know what happened. Alrighty, uh, the place is closed, uh, and obviously we weren't open anyway, but now uh, the place isn't going to be open, and I might leave soon, so uh, if you want to take my number. Yeah, 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 I'll do that. Uh, I'll just give you the number to my cell phone. Gotcha, give me... Do you have a, yeah, if you want to give it to him, or if you have a business card, either is fine. Uh, my business, or my cell phone isn't on my business card. Yeah, that's my uh, office perfect, phone. Perfect, perfect. Just... All right, go ahead. What's the number? It's uh, 650-4548, and my name is Keith. All right. All right, appreciate you. I'm going to go ahead and hop in my vehicle, send him the video real quick, and we'll be on the lookout for him. Okay, sir. Yeah. Have a good day. Yeah, stay safe. You hopefully too. nothing else happens to you. Yeah, hopefully. Take care, man. Okay. Um. So he 
confused the crap out of me quite a bit uh, whenever he told me that. I don't understand how he did not get the license plate, because in the security footage, I backed up, like, into the f***ing camera. So we're going to be riding around on the bike for a little bit. I'm wearing the same helmet and the same pants uh, that are reported stolen in the costume. However, I am not the same person. Uh, I'm playing as a guy named John, and he is going to find out a little bit about what it's like to too good to be true when it comes to uh, eBay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go through Route 68, and then I'm going to go up and around Sandy Shores, and then I'm gonna go up through Polito that way. I really just wanted to check the speed traps in between, um, in between Sandy and Grapeseed on the map because if there was a speed trap, I was gonna run by it. That's a really easy way to get pulled over if you're looking for someone like this, because really the main thing is getting them pulled over. As soon as I get pulled over, for example, and then they're like, okay, I'm on a traffic stop on a guy wearing a evil can evil outfit, well then, you know, the guys in LSPD are going to be like, hey, we just had one stolen from here, can you grab him? Uh, so that's a really easy way to do that, is just by, you know, generally speeding, and especially a speed trap where I know the posted speed limit, I can just really uh, do that. How you doing? How you doing, man? Sorry, I didn't know if you wanted to pass me or uh, or pull me over. That I, I, I thought you were passing me. That's why I uh, pulled over no, so quickly. No, I was trying to catch up with you. You're doing going pretty fast. I didn't clock you or anything, so I've visually seen it. But uh, it took me 101 miles an hour to catch you. Okay, I'm sorry all about right. that. Uh, That's all right. Do you have your license and registration? Uh, I do. My registration's in the uh, in the seat of the motorcycle. All right. That's fine. If you could. Uh, get up and let me see it. That'd be fine. Yeah, okay. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, I just bought this new suit and I'm going to the uh, uh, Polito Motorcycle Fest. Yeah. So, uh, I didn't mean to be driving reckless. I'm sorry about that, but let me... Okay. Well, I just heard it accelerate really fast and then I wanted to see what was going on. So. Uh, yeah, it's a fun bike. I bet so. Looks like a good fun one. I just, it's uh, new to me. Oh, is it new to you? Yes, sir. Yeah, I got the registration all good and everything like that, but, uh... Oh, okay. It, it's just new to me. Uh, it's my first time going to one of these, like, planned motorcycle events like that, so... Oh, okay. Awesome. Yeah, I just... I heard you accelerate. I was getting gas, and I heard you accelerate really, really fast, so I figured I'd, uh... make contact, make sure you weren't doing nothing too stupid to get yourself hurt. Oh, I get you. Yeah. Honestly, um... Like, if, if I go down, like, a straight road and there's no one down it, yeah, I kind of hit the gas a little bit. But, uh, yeah. let me, uh, yeah. give this to you. All right. And here's this. All right. Just sit tight for me. I'll run all this, and we'll, uh, go from there, all right? You want me to sit on the bike, or you want me to stand up? Uh, either way, it's up. That's your preference. Alrighty, I'll just stand here. All right. All right. Here is your information back. Said I didn't clock you or anything. I just seen that you were moving pretty fast. I wanted to stop and talk to you and make sure everything was all right okay yeah that, that's fine like i mentioned i'm just you know sorry about that but no I'm it's not, okay <laughs> i'm not i'm not trying to get anyone hurt or myself hurt you know what i mean i'm just trying to head up to Palito yeah. so i can have a good time yeah no big deal all right well you are free to go be safe pulling out and 
you know, make sure you do the speed limit. All right. Yes, sir. You got it. All right. You have a good one. You too. Yep. Oh man, look at that. This dude's driving around with his hazards on. I'm gonna I'm gonna help him out. Hey man, your hazards are on, dude. Hit your backspace button to turn them off. Oh he didn't hear me. Is that cop coming after me again because I did that? That would suck. I don't think he saw me pull to the left of him. He trying to pull me over now? Oh, he's pulling him over. <laughs> I told him. I told him his hazards were on. I told him. Now he's getting a ticket. Oh, that's great. I can book it down here too. He stopped right in the middle of the street. <laughs> He's just, I think he recognized it. <laughs> he like, he's, you hear, you hear him break just right in the middle of the street. Hello, sir. Hey, how you doing, man? How you doing? I'm all right. Are you, uh, are you the one who called 911? No, sir. No? All right. You sit tight for me, all right, man? Yeah. No problem. Hi, how's it going? Hey, how you doing? I'm pretty good. I'm about to head off to Polito. Are you? Yeah, there's a bike meet there. Nice. First time going, yeah, I bought the, the costume and everything for it. Oh, you got, is that, uh, that's not your normal attire? Uh, no, I mean, I mean, my jacket is, uh, you see these pants? Yeah, it's nice. It's like Evil Knievel. All right. Yeah, so basically, uh, the jacket that came with this, um, it, it, it's, it's like an Evil Knievel, exactly, like a, like one of his outfits, except the jacket, it really isn't good for riding, especially on the freeway, so I just put on my, my jacket, but, uh, the helmet, it, the helmet is just, uh, you can see on the back there, it says the words. Oh, yeah. And pretty much, I'm really nice. stoked, because I just got it, I'm gonna wear it for Halloween, and I'm gonna wear it to this, uh, to this bike meet. Okay. Okay, well, the reason why we're here is uh, we had a 911 call that uh, somebody that kind of matches your description along with, with that bike out there is uh, making a lot of noise out here uh, in the hotel area. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I I'm not trying to disrupt anybody. Uh, I was playing around with it because brand new bike, or brand new to me, it's a 2013, but brand new to me bike. And, you know, I'm just trying to mess around, see that it's all good to uh, to go to Polito and then, you know, uh, participate in the bike meet. Uh, but I'm, I'm not trying to disrupt anybody, I promise. No, I understand. Uh, would you mind if I can get your uh, get your first and last name? Yeah, it's uh, John Shoup. It's um, S-H-U-P-E.
Uh, can you spell that last name for me one more time? Yes, sir. It's S H U P E. Okay. Uh, if you'll hang on one second, and this is your bike right here. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, that's my bike. Okay. All right. Very good. Uh, give me one second, okay? Sure. Okay. Deputy, I'll be right back, okay? Yep. I got you. How's your day been going, sir? It's been fine. Um, I, I, I've been, I'm really excited uh, because I get to participate in this bike meet. Um, oh, nice. And I just, basically, I, I just got the outfit in Los Santos, uh, and then I'm going to be driving uh, to Polito, and then I'm just going to be participating there for a little bit. It's my first ever bike meet. Yeah, that's good to hear, man. That's good. Um, I did have a question. Are you, do you have a firearm on you by any chance? No, sir. No, I... Do you mind if I just pat you down real quick, just, you know, for my safety or safety? That's fine. I appreciate it, man. If you can just face towards your bike. Oh, right here? Yeah. I do not have a firearm. Right, uh, before I pat you down, you got anything on you I should know about? Uh, Wallet, phone? I do have a beer, but it's not opened. It's not open? Yes, right, sir. It's fine. not open. I just forgot to put it back in my hotel room. So where's this uh where's this bike meet at? In Polito. Uh oh, it, Polito? Yeah, it starts at uh it starts at Porcopio and then it or at that gas station in Porcopio and then it goes all the way down Great Ocean Highway back into uh Chumash. And I live on right. San Andreas Avenue, so that's right near my house anyway. Yeah, it's convenient. Hap yeah, it happens like I think once a year, but this is the first time I get to participate. Uh so I'm pretty happy about it. Yeah. Well, you know, if everything all goes well, we'll send you on your way as quickly as possible, alright? Cool. So you said you were in San Andreas earlier today? Or in uh, Los Santos, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, I live yeah. there. Um, oh, okay. Earlier today, I was um, I bought this costume off of eBay. Uh, mm -hmm. So I drove to the guy's house to pick it up. He he, he did want to ship it, but uh, he lives in Los Santos. I live in Los Santos, so I just went ahead and did the local pickup. Okay. I and then you. got the outfit. And then uh, after that, I just uh, took off and I bought my room here. And then I'm just about to leave for Polito. Okay. Right. Okay. And um, how long have you been out here on the bike? Out where specifically, sir? Like, what do you mean? Uh, just uh, maybe, uh, and say, in the general vicinity, it may be, uh, uh, I would say, Grand, Grand Sonora Desert area. Uh, since this afternoon, early this afternoon, I came here around 2, and that's when I bought my hotel room. Okay, and you don't have any kind of weapons on you or anything like that? I saw the deputy patting you down. No, no sir, I don't have anything like that. I do have a beer, uh, but it is not opened. Okay. Alright. Alright, well, hang, hang tight, just one second. Sure. Thank you. Uh, Sergeant. So how much did you pay for the bike, man? For the if you bike? don't mind me asking, of course. Yeah. Uh, he wanted twelve. Uh, there was a busted muffler on it, so I talked him down to nine, and I just oh, replaced right. the muffler for uh, three hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a pretty good deal, eh? That's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah, I mean, if you fix your own stuff, you know, you know what I mean. It uh, it pays for itself. Oh yeah, absolutely. Having that knowledge really saves you a lot of money. Is it okay if I turn this off real quick? Um, yeah, sure. Yeah, if you, you can shut it off. So how much did the Evil Knievel stuff cost you? Uh, 300. Oh, and, so and you just... Sorry, go ahead. Uh, it came with the, the pants, the shirt, and the helmet. And the oh, shirt nice. I really can't wear right now when I'm riding because it's just really not meant for, like, riding on the freeway, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, so... I got you. Hey, Mr. Sheep. Yes, sir. Okay, so once 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 I didn't uh, identify myself earlier, this is uh, Deputy Benzel, Los Santos County Sheriff's Office. Uh, now, I did want to ask you, now, have you been on your bike all night long? Did you let anybody use it or anybody borrow it or, at all? No, I've been on my bike all day. Okay, uh, you don't have any kind of maybe relatives or anything like that that may have borrowed it for a quick second at all? Not today, no. Okay. Like I said, um, 
I, I took it with me when I when I uh, bought this outfit, uh, and then I just drove it up here, and it's just been sitting here all day. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, just the noise complaint. That's all we're getting right now, and it's just saying that you're, I guess, you're rev revving your engine too much out here. Uh, that's the only noise complaint that we have. So, if you could maybe not do that, that would be great. Sure. I mean, I'm not really trying to disrupt anyone. You know what I mean? Uh, oh no, you're fine. I'm I'm just you know really excited to go and all that stuff. It may have gotten the better of me, and I do apologize for that. Oh no, you're good. Okay. Well, very good. I'm gonna talk to my sergeant one more second, and then uh, we'll get you out of here in just one second. All right? Sounds good. Okay, thank you. So how long uh, do these uh, bike meets last for? Not that long. Um. We're going to be riding all evening, but it'll die around uh, four or five, uh, somewhere around there. Oh, okay. That sounds like it's going to be a fun night for you. Yeah, yeah, I've been, uh, I, I, I uh, signed up two weeks ago, and so I've just been waiting for it since then. Oh, nice. Do you have to pay, like, a fee to get in? Or? No, you just have to, you have to sign up beforehand because, uh... What they did previously was they just let people show up, but then people started acting stupid and, like, doing wheelies in front of cops and stuff like that. Right. And so now they just want to know who's showing up because, like, if someone's showing up and, you know, it's like, oh, this person's done this before where they literally crash their bike into the back of a cop car, you know, then they don't want them to show up. Uh, yeah, no, I gotcha. So that's the only thing you have to do beforehand. Oh, oh. yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I always thought about picking up a bike, but I don't know. I just kind of worried I might get into an accident with it. You get over it. Uh, I thought so too. I felt like you know very, I guess, exposed uh, while while riding it. But you know, the especially if you take some safety courses, you gain confidence and then you get over it. That's good. Okay, Mr. Shoot. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to go ahead and uh, let you take out of here. Just uh, be careful driving. Uh, see, your license is all valid for both, uh, you know, for your driver's license and also for the motorcycle license. Uh, you had no weapons or anything like that. But, uh, yeah, just keep the noise down, and then uh, you could be on your way. Okay. Uh, I'm, st I'm still going to – this is my room right here, number six. Okay. So I, I still got to – I like that beer. I got to put it up, and then I got to – you know, get my helmet and, and my stuff like that, and all my stuff out, and then I'll be on my way out of here. But I yeah, won't. I won't. No problem. I won't do any of the loud noise. I promise. Okay. Yeah, it sounds good. All right. Well, I'll try to drive safe. Yes, sir. You too. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay. Have you a good too. evening. You too.